Hello Libra, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a reading for the whole of the Libra Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you can find the link to personal readings in the description box directly below this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, um, if you're interested in checking out my Etsy shop, I'll leave the link in the description box for you to have a look because I offer more tarot readings in my Etsy shop. So it's definitely worth checking it out. So I'd like to thank you, Libra, for all the support that you gave me last month in the last lot of readings. Much appreciated. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading now. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. We'd love to get more Libra and energy into these my readings. You know, very positive vibe about you. I love Libra. Um, I'm going to use the Moon and Stars tarot deck for this reading. Also the Sun and Moon uh, tarot and Soul's Journey Oracle cards, I think. Yep. And I'm going to jump straight into your reading. First card you have out is the Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The Chariot. Major Arcana card, you could be dealing with a Cancer. The King of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. You're starting off really on high note, I think, Libra, because this is an indication that you're financial situation is going to improve to the point where you are going to feel financially comfortable off um you are going to be independent financially uh independent um there's going to be absolute stability in your finances this is what i see coming so there is some form of money coming to you without a doubt also i do see that there is a blast from the past here someone is missing you and someone is going to contact you this person has definitely felt your absence they have been missing you like crazy and I, I feel that this person is going to contact you. I feel it's an ex for some of you, definitely an ex. It's someone from your past, one of your exes from your past, I believe that has had a tendency to be in and out of your life that was very unreliable the love was there on both sides but you couldn't rely on them for love or money um this person comes across as quite immature emotionally immature but sorely missing you all the same afraid i think maybe of of making that absolute commitment and yet they have very strong feelings for you. This person feels very strongly for you. You're everything to them. And yet they still won't make commit to you. And you don't share anything regarding love with anyone. And that, of, of, which is, which is something, which is right really. Um, 
and they're going to be sad I feel because I feel that you a lot of you may have already moved on or are going to be moving on to perhaps new love I see here that you also may have reached some form of crossroads in your life where you can take two different paths as well as obviously in love in the direction of love you can take the path of going back to someone from your past or going moving on to new love but I, I see also um, two career paths opening up for you here um, for some of you it's going to be a hard decision to make because some of you may like what you do currently but for some of you you may be attracted to the alternative because it offers more financial uh, well a financial increase the financial boost which is what you need at the moment in your circumstances and it's a case of either be happy or do something that doesn't make you half as happy but it it, it has its practicalities in the sense that it it covers all your your financial you know difficulties it, it would cover all of that so that's what i think uh you're going to have a bit of a difficult choice there to make but like i said i feel that some of you definitely moved on or are going to be moving on for some of you it could be an earth sign but it could also be a water sign cancer and that the earth signs are capricorn taurus and virgo and cancer's come kind of strong for you as well um also water signs like i said definitely coming up for you in particular cancer but yeah i think um you some of you may move on to an earth sign or may have already moved on to an earth sign someone that is definitely grounded um you feel secure with this person they're not in and out of your life you know where you stand or if this isn't hasn't happened for you all yet I feel some of you will be meeting an earth sign who's going to make you feel secure within that relationship. You won't be wondering or worrying when this person's going to dis do a disappearing act like, like your past. So yeah, we have a choice here. We also have a bit of del delusion on, on the side of the per your past relationship. Um, they, they want, they want, everything their own way and they yet yeah, like i said they have a lot of strong feelings for you but they can't seem to stick around and it doesn't seem to have changed much only the fact that they miss you and they yearn for you but whether they have the discipline to stick around and treat it in the in the correct way that you want them to to take the relationship seriously and act like it's a proper serious relationship you know that's another thing that you question where this person is concerned um i'm going to change decks now and i'm going to use the sun and moon tarot deck and you've got first card out yeah the ace of cups so let's put a few out and see where we, where this goes for you. The Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. The Hanged Man. This is a major arcana card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. So water, water signs are coming out quite strong for you. Could be a Pisces here. Cancer. And we have the Four of Wands. So let's see what this is for you first. So I, yeah, I do see, yeah, like I said, some of you definitely starting a new relationship or in the process of of committing properly to each other um i definitely see that here uh there's new love coming in without a doubt you you're definitely moving on a lot of you um it's someone that 
it's not afraid to really put in the hard work um in it and ma match what you do you know um it's someone that definitely wants to plant roots with you wants a future with you someone that's willing to put in the hard work like i said but i also see you working hard where your career is concerned as well in order to secure your future got the queen of swords here yeah i feel that you some of you um you you know your truth you have clarity on this situation you know what you need to do communication here is what i see between you and particularly someone from your past i think you're going to be communicating to this person that you've moved on some of you that you don't see it being able to work unless you're both wanting the same thing but this person's really stuck on you with the hanged man this person can't seem to move past you get beyond you and and the thing is like i said this person doesn't seem to have changed much they can promise you the world but actions speak louder than words as you're always uh, but this person's stuck really um while they want you and they they yearn for you they they need to conduct themselves in a different way if they want any chance with you but they seem to be stuck in a very toxic way of behaving you know they kind of and so meanwhile you know some of you are entering a new relationship and you know i have to say with the four of wands uh, this can indicate a reunion this is what this person your past wants your past your past relationship your past boyfriend girlfriend or your past ex they want a relationship they want the reunion but they say they want these things but whether they can stick around is another thing but also i see you um getting together on a permanent basis with someone new i think it's something that's going to develop into a serious relationship as well you've got uh the two of cups yeah definitely um going to be a, an equal match in love here someone that really is going to be there for you love you the, the bones out of you you know this person is going to love you in the way that you should be loved this person is going to cherish you a new love and this is what you've been looking for this person's going to stick around because you've got the universe which you which is like the world in other tarot deck cards and it's a new start a new beginning in love a new relationship going into 2023 something uh, someone totally new someone that is not a commitment phobe someone that will want a more permanent relationship down the line someone that will love you in the way you love them someone that will stick around i, th I can see you leaving someone out in the cold someone from your past who's coming back around but they i don't think they're going to get lucky with you because i feel that you you've gone cold on that idea you know you don't feel this person can be there for you because you felt very lonely in that relationship with that person but this i feel this person's feeling it now feeling that loss feeling that loneliness craving for you wishing that they'd done things differently but wishing and doing are two different things yeah as a result i feel you know it's, it's going to be harsh the truth is going to be hard to accept for this person this person's not going to take it really well because you know um they're going to be devastated but it, it's their own doing basically you know it's they've created this mess for themselves i i see you moving on to a far better relationship and being happier happier down the road with with someone new here yeah change coming i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so yeah that this is this past person it wasn't growing 
uh, it wasn't evolving into something more special it was staying stagnant and change is coming into your life that change is someone new without a doubt you've got someone new entering your life and you've got abundance here coming into your life in love in money it's going to be a very happy time for you there's going to be a lot of joy and happiness coming into your life of course the person from the past would like your forgiveness but from experience i think this is what i'm picking up that you know that you know you've forgiven this person one too many times but they keep repeating the same mistake if they're asking you to forgive them they then have to follow through and mean what they say but they never do so you feel like you're wasting energy you know the only person you're forgiving is yourself yeah and you've got loneliness here as well like i said i feel that this person is going to feel very lonely without you definitely they're going to feel that loneliness they're going to they're just going to feel very lonely without you basically but you're going to move on to happier and better things so that was your reading please don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel take care everyone and i'll see you all soon bye